Hi guys, I am doing um, hashtag crop pot, crop pot, casserole um, dishes. It's a collab we're doing, and it's an open collab on Tuesdays with me and Kimmy's Kitchen. Hashtag um, crock pot casserole dishes, and you can do sheet pan too, but you don't have to add that to the hashtag. Um, I am doing rotisserie chicken fajitas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip them off, and then I'm going to put a layer of broth in just a little bit of broth in the bottom, like a quarter of a cup or something. Lay a low, uh, uh, lay a um, layer of chicken, and then I'm gonna do a layer of the cut up peppers and onions. I got sweet onions, and I do have my seasoning right here. You can do you can do it all separate, but I just bought these because I read it and they had the same is what it calls on the recipe. So I'm gonna strip all the chicken into this bowl. And then I'm going to into this bowl. And then I'm going to come back and show you how much chicken I got. And then I'm going to layer it into the crock pot. And see if I can get away with one crock pot last time. I ended up using two because of all the vegetables too. And the broth, the point of the broth in the bottom of the pan is to let off steam. So it will cook the vegetables, like steam them and not overcook them. Because if I saute them, I think they're going to be too mushy. And in the background, I'm listening to Lori Latimer. So excuse the noise in the background. Okay, so continue watching, and I'll be back when I get all the, I got four of these to do. All the chicken off the bone. Off the, all the chicken off the, off the bone. Okay, be back. I made this whole big bowl of chicken from the four rotisserie chickens. And um, in the background is Angela. No, is um, Andrea. Arkansas gals. So I'm gonna go turn it down. Okay, right here is the crock pot. I've already put some lime juice in, chicken broths in there, and there's a fajita. They didn't call it chicken broth, but this is how I'm doing it because I wanted to steam the vegetables. So what I'm gonna do, my hands are clean, so I'm gonna tear my meat apart, is layer the meat. This is all the meat. From the rotisserie chickens mostly all shredded and this way you can mix it right in with your seasonings and stir it up and stuff get a nice layer in there so it's a layer of dark and white meat and um, people said that rotisserie chicken weight is really good so it is a lot easier to get together for sure I'm gonna grab the only thing I got done so far is the um chicken shredded so now I gotta cut up all the vegetables and um do another layer. This way, this can sit here, in here, and, you know, like stay warm while I'm doing the rest. I'll get all my vegetables and stuff cut up, and then I'll do another layer, and I'll mix some more of the seasoning into the chicken. I should do it right now. I'm just going to go like this. And then just put this over top of it like that and then mix it in with my hands and then that way it'll be all mixed in and you have it in there. Make it a mess guys. Okay now I'm going to start cutting my vegetables and then I'll come back and show you another layer which I can put some more in there like that. I'm kind of just swinging around a little bit. Because you won't be able to mix up every layer. You can only mix up this bottom layer, actually. Bailey, get over here. She's just trying to go over that way. That neighbor lady comes out. She is not a happy camper. Because Bailey's a German Shepherd. Just to look for scares her. So keep watching. Okay. I still got those four. And another onion and a half. But 
got these cut up. I'm going to see how many layers this one makes. These are the sweet onions. I shred them like, I cut them like that. And we have the red, the orange, the green, and the yellow. And we're going to put those in the pan and layer it. And then we'll continue. Do another layer with the chicken. Get all this done. Then i got to cut up avocados and tomatoes and lettuce. Okay. So guys, maybe when I start cutting up these ones, I'll record a little bit of it. So you can see how I cut mine. Okay, I put on a layer of it. Now I'm going to put another layer of meat, which I have um, seasoned. And then we can put another layer of um, vegetables on here, and then we can probably put the rest of this in a smaller crock pot. So we don't have a crock pot apart. Like that. And I'll throw another layer on top. I'll let this one. That one can be cut a little better. It's a little thick. And I get a little, a little too thick like that. I just cut it in, make them a little thinner. And then the steam from the bottom should cook these pretty quickly. Right now I have it on low to get it warmer quicker. So there it is. It's nice and pretty. And we'll put the lid on and let it warm up. And it'll be ready. Okay, now let's go cut up some more vegetables. Okay, I'm going to show you how I cut mine. I have a can over here on the side for the um, scraps from them. goes in my compost anyway. So I like to just kind of cut it like that and then just break it down. And then I can just, isn't that funny how you get weird things on the inside like that? Put those in there. And then I like to take out the extra here. Okay, I'll put the seeds in there. Another little bit right there. And then I cut all this off. All this white stuff. all my compost see all those seeds on there it's a lot of seeds right there add the garbage and the Compost little can right there to put them in. And then I just slice them like this. And I do them too thick, I can always fix it later when they go in the pan. I got a smaller um, crock pot I can dig out. So I thought a crock pot, a bigger one, and then a little one. I do it like that. I try to get all the seeds out of the way. So that's that one. There's the other one. A piece of plastic. Well, upside down. And just I try to do it like on their little thing they got right there. Sometimes there's three, sometimes there's four. And just break it off. And get that big piece right there. seeds out of there. Seeds might not bother somebody. I just don't care for them. Break it again. Sometimes it does it wrong. Put that in there. Just 
Scoot him off to the side. I'll clean him up later. Right now I got all the chicken bones boiling to make a chicken broth. Because I might make some homemade chicken noodle soup. And homemade broth is really good. See, look there. I cut this before I gutted the inside. See the stuff right there? I always call it gutting the inside. It's just the stuff the inside of the green of pepper. A little bit right here on this one, too. A little white. back over. And I don't have any white on it. I must have cut it already. So that's how I do mine. And the onion. I'll show you an onion and then I'll and then I want and you know you know you, you can always skip this part because if you already know how to do it who cares. And then uh, I always cut the onion right there to get that part off. It's like a root. And that top layer it's always just like a tough layer, like get that up. Take this part off right there. And just take that one top layer off. There. And that's what it looks like. It's just your onion. And then get the little peelings off. That's why I got an apron on. Back it on my apron. And then just slice them. And as you want, some people might like them nice and thick. They are sweet onions. So far, my eyes have not watered, knock on wood. See right there, I want to cut it thinner. And then you just take them apart like that. That's how I do my onions. These ones to me are a little thick, but some people won't bother, some people might. So you just go back and fix it. Some of them I don't like the feel of how they, I don't know what you'd even call it. They just feel funny. Dogs are outside barking at each other, they're playing. They're not like barking, annoyingly barking, they're just playing barking. There. There's some more cut up. I still got more to go, but there you go. I won't I won't keep doing this, make you watch. I don't make anybody watch, but okay guys, hang on. Okay, there it is. That one. This one needs to cook a little longer. The vegetables aren't as tender. So we'll just get that going again. And then we have avocados. And I sprinkled lime juice on all of them. Tomatoes. Lettuce. Shells. We have taco seasoning with salsa if they want it. Sour cream. And then cheese. So there it is, guys. It's all set up. Ready to go. And I'll show you what it looks like on my plate. Okay. I'll look at one more time. That's pretty good. There they are. Done. I just heated them up like this. Because by the time I got back they were cold. So, um, and now you can add cheese or salsa or whatever you want on top, avocados, all that kind of stuff. And there it is, guys. So, it's hashtag crock pot, casserole, open collab. Anyone can join, and you can do a crock pot, a casserole, or a sheet pan meal. And just um, tag me and me. Just like with Lois in Kimmy's Kitchen. And everybody have a blessed day. You pray for me. I pray for you. Pray for the world. Bye, guys.